two wedge play. And this was a play that when I first started running the single wing, I thought this was a really stupid play. And, and I just put it in because the experts said you had to have it in. And I didn't really play, uh, expect we'd run it very much. But our first uh, scrimmage uh, back eight seasons ago, we ran this. Uh, first play we ran was a 16 power. We did okay with a 22 wedge. We got about 12, 10 or 12 yards, ran it again, got another 10 or 12 yards, ran it again. Lo and behold, we're getting 10 or 12 yards on this uh, play, and the other team just can't stand the play. Uh, the wedge is really just a, a, a play if you can execute it well, and it's really, if you put your mind to it, it really is something that's relatively uh, easy to teach if you hold the kids accountable to a, a perfect standard and teach it according to the way that the book and the videos talk about step-by-step step, rather than kind of rushing through it. But in many seasons, this isn't a short yardage play. We've actually averaged over 10 yards a carry with this play. The first season we ran this, uh, we averaged over 12 yards a carry with any times we had motion behind the 22 wedge, and we averaged um, a significant uh, yardage every year that we've run this uh, particular play. So with the wedge, uh, the, the leader of the wedge is our right guard. He's going to take two steps forward. We're all going to fit in here according to what the book and videos talk about. Our wing back's going to get in here tight. He's actually going to push on the back of the power tackle. Okay, So we're going to get a nice push in there. We're going to have a bunch of bodies in there, so it's going to be really hard for the defense to see who's actually got the ball. In fact, you see in the videos, a lot of times all of a sudden the body will just kind of squirt out. Um, and, and it's kind of amazing because uh, the defense has no clue, clue has the ball. It's got, we've got kind of a mob going downfield. Our, our blocking back pushes on the back of the center, so he's giving a little help to the center. Our fullback, what he does is we get the snap directly to him. The fullback is running and then put his, his hand right on the back of the uh, right guard. So he gets right in there, he gets really low, and he just pushes his hand right on the back. And, and quite often, what will happen is the wedge will break up uh, 5 or 10 or sometimes 15 yards downfield. We don't allow him to come in here and bounce it out. He's got to follow it downfield. And when he sees daylight, he needs to go ahead and run to that daylight, but it's downfield. The tailback will go ahead and fake. He can either fake a 16 power, or you can make it look like kind of a double dive type thing, or you can make him run wide like an 18 sweep. Either way is fine. We want to do is to make sure that that tailback, when he comes out, that he dips his, his left shoulder. So we, what we do is we actually have him take his left hand, put it up here, his right fist is in his left hand, and he runs with his, his shoulder dipped to make sure that, that um, uh, it looks like he's got the ball. And again, if you have a good fake there, you can run that off, look like an, an off-tackle type play. 